Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at the transpose operator in MATLAB. Now this is going to be a lot useful when you're dealing with like linear algebra and performing like certain calculations in that field. But basically all it does is the transpose operator switches the rows and columns in a matrix. And I'm going to show you this in a simple picture. Um, now we have a 2 by 3 matrix here. And when we get the transpose of this, all it does is it takes that row and creates a column out of it. Similarly, it does the same thing for the other row. So all a transpose function does is it creates a matrix that basically switches your rows in columns. That's all it does. Now, in a later video, I'll get into all the details of how we can use it and like how we can calculate some stuff out of it. But for the for this video, I'm only going to focus on how we can get a transpose of a matrix. So over here, I've got A equals to a bunch of numbers, and then I'm going to run this matrices here. And then this turns to be a three by three matrix. And to get the transpose of this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to write the name of my matrix. I'm going to define what matrix I'm talking about. And since I only have one here, it's only going to be A. And then I'm going to I'm going to tell MATLAB to take the transpose of that matrix with a single quotation mark. And if I press run, it's going to give me the transpose of that that matrix from from what I have here. And we can do a whole bunch of stuff here. So we could do the transpose of A minus like the actual matrix and get some calculations out of it. Or we could do like the transpose of A minus A um, squared and get some other calculations out of it. You see we got like some huge numbers here. So in general, if you're trying to transpose a matrix in MATLAB, all we're doing is we're first of all defining which matrix we want to get the transpose of, in which case, I mean, in our case, we have only A. So we're going to define that by, by saying A and then open um, quotation one single quotation mark. And then if we run this, we get the transpose function. We could also do the old school way and just type transpose and then open parentheses A. And this is also going to give us the same results. But I mean, that's the first method is, is just, you know, it, it's quicker. All right. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.